Welcome to your daily yoga flexibility stretches. My name is Katie and this is a 10 minute yoga practice to get a nice deep stretch into the upper back and to help you increase your flexibility. It's also going to be a great way to stretch out the shoulders and the chest as well. This is day five of this mini flexibility challenge. If you want to catch up on days one to four, you'll find a link to those videos in the description of this one. If you want to warm up before we get into these deep stretches, that is a good idea. So you can find a 10 minute yoga warm up here and then come back for your deep stretches. For this practice, you will need some kind of strap. So you can grab a belt or anything at all that resembles a strap and then we'll get started. We'll be sitting on the mat the entire time. So make yourself as comfortable as possible. You can sit up on cushions or pillows here if you want to. Take your strap then and put it over your shoulder. So if you have been doing some of my videos before, you might know that I love this pose. It's called cow face arms, and it's a really effective way to get flexibility into your upper body. So that's why we're doing it today. You can start by reaching your right arm out in front of you, push it away, then bring it all the way back behind you, turn your thumb down, bend your elbow and find your strap. Your right hand is as close to your spine as you can comfortably get it. Left arm reaches up, bend the elbow and find another part of your strap. Your right or your left hand rather is also as close to your spine as you can get it. Now we're going to hold here. We want this top elbow to stay pointing up towards the sky. So we will have to keep an eye on that one. And then the back of your neck is nice and long as well. We're going to work up to a five minute hold. Don't worry if you can't stay for the five minutes at first. It does take a while to build up the flexibility to stay in this pose. But with that in mind, choose a distance between your hands that will be sustainable for you. So to make it less intense, just keep your hands nice and wide apart. And if you want it more intense, of course, you can start to walk your hands closer together along your strap. Once you're settled, you might close your eyes. Make sure you're sitting up tall through your spine will bring some awareness to the breath. So starting to breathe as deeply as you can into your belly. Maybe you can feel the air expanding up into your chest and throat as well. And then each time you exhale, slowly emptying belly, emptying chest and emptying throat. starting to feel lots of sensation within the upper back. So just try your best to focus on that tightness, sending your breath into it. Now to help increase our flexibility even more, we'll start breathing in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Doing really good here, just one more minute. 
Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Check in on that top elbow again. See if you need to point it up to the sky. Now we'll prepare to come out of the pose so you can slowly start to release your grip from your strap. Bring your hands back out in front. Do whatever you need to do to release that tension from your shoulders, maybe circle them off. You might need to stretch through the sides of your neck here. And then we don't want one side more flexible than the other. So we'll repeat on the left side, reaching the left hand out in front push it away, bring it back and turn your thumb down. Bend at your elbow to find your strap. Right hand reaches up, bend and find your strap with your right hand too. So you might straight away notice that one side is easier or more difficult than the other. So just feel out this side, see what distance is going to work for you with your hands for a five minute hold. Remember that top elbow points up, the back of your neck is nice and long, and you're sitting as tall as you can on your mat. Once you're settled then, close your eyes. Find your breath by breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. This pose is also a really great pose for your posture. It helps to straighten up the upper back and to unround the shoulders as well. And it's also a pose that you can really notice an increase in your flexibility the more you practice it. So I promise if you stay with this pose, eventually you won't even need a strap and you'll just be able to clasp your fingers together behind your back. And the way this challenge works is we're doing day one to five. We're taking a break for two days and then come back and repeat days one to five for a total of four weeks at the minimum. So it'll take four weeks to really notice a difference in your flexibility. So that is your challenge, your mission if you choose to accept it. And as I mentioned, you'll find all of those videos in the description of this one. So let's settle back down now for the next few minutes. Just let the pose open up your upper back, getting rid of tension and creating flexibility.
We're almost there. Check in on that top elbow again. Make sure you're still breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And once we're done, if you want to stay on your mat a little bit longer and do a 10 minute relaxation, just to let your body form that muscle memory, then you'll see a link to a video that you can do at the end of this one. Last three big breaths here. And then when you're ready, you can start to release your grip on your strap, bring those hands back out in front and do whatever you need to do to release that tension from your upper back or your shoulders. So if you have completed day one to five, well done. You can take a break for two days and then start again at day one. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and you're feeling a little bit more flexible in your upper back. If you liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave it a thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel as well. I'll see you soon, but until then, have a great day and goodbye.